Welcome back. Well, a group of students in Wesley Chapel are driven to succeed at a competition that involves designing and building their very own solar powered car. Yeah, these are really cool looking. Our Pasco County reporter Eric Waxler listened to how these kids did it and he got a look at the car in action. It all started with Ronnie Pittman's intro to engineering class. In the class, you know, I taught them how to weld, how to fabricate, how to bend, how to cut metal and, th you know, electrical, all of it. And then we figured, well, this would be a great project because it ties all of that into one thing. His students at North Tampa Christian Academy turned those skills into a solar powered car that keeps getting better every year. You have three pedals, two brakes, so one front, one back, and then you have a gas pedal. It's fairly simple. It looks more complicated than it is. We were impressed the first time we put it on. It's like we built this from the ground up. All the welds were done pretty much, 99% were done by them. The designing, the welding, the wiring, the cover, every, most of it's done by them. There's still some finishing touches left to do, but this car will be put to the test next month, racing against other high schoolers at Texas Motor Speedway. Ian was part of last year's team that drove more than 650 miles over the four day solar car challenge. It was everyone's first year. I got to drive a couple of times. It was a lot of fun. I enjoyed it and I'll be the first one to go twice. There's a lot of trial and error for these solar titans, and for Ian, that included a crash. I took the first corner down the back straight of the school, and I woke up, I was upside down, so I ended up blacking out, and it was no fun. I was no there fun. when he did it. Hey, corn. Top speed for this car, named Nemo, is 50 miles an hour. It cost about $7,000 to build, and with this brain power, nothing will slow it down, except maybe clouds. In Wesley Chapel, Eric Waxler, ABC Action News.